All right, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So today we're gonna address a question that I've been asked so much over the past couple of weeks and couple of months that I feel like I just need to make a video about it. And that question is how many stones do I need to spend to pull a copy of the LR Gogeta? or LR Vegito. Actually, more specifically, the question is usually framed as, I have this many stones, let's say I have a thousand stones, is that enough to pull LR Vegito or pull LR Gogeta? All right, so in order to attempt, attempt to answer that question today, we're gonna use a wonderful tool on the Dokkan Wiki called the Summon Rate Calculator. And they know what's up, man. Look, it says, which banner should I chase LRs on? What are my chances to pull the main featured unit with 300 stones? Is it worth to summon on this banner or should I save for the next one? And so on and so forth. If these questions sound familiar, which they really do, then perhaps this calculator might help you out. By the way, I will put a link to the calculator in my description down below, so make sure to go check that out if you guys wanna use it for yourself. But uh, basically the way it works is that you input all the information for the specific banner you're interested in and then it'll tell you exactly what your chances are of pulling whatever you're looking for, right? So first things first, we got the banner details and for the type of banner, we can just leave it at guaranteed SSR because that's basically most banners in the game with the exception of a few ticket banners. And then for the number of featured SSRs, you can pop over to DBZ Space or the Dokkan Wiki and it'll tell you exactly how many featured SSRs each banner has. So for the upcoming Dual Dokkan Fest, the Vegito banner, and the Gogeta banner are both gonna have 10 featured SSRs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As well as right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so for that section, we're gonna put 10, oh, 10 featured SSRs. And then for the non-featured SSRs, once again, you can find the info in the same place. So it's gonna be 203 non-featured, and obviously that number it's gonna constantly go up. So if you're gonna use this for you know other banners in the future, then it's probably gonna be a higher number. So 203 over there. And for the summon rates, it's gonna be normal banner as opposed to monotype or double rates. And for the percentage for featured SSRs, it's gonna be 5%. And the percentage for non-featured SSRs, also 5% for a cumulative 10% SSR rate. And then we're gonna be doing multi summons as opposed to single summons. I mean, you could do singles, it just really doesn't make sense, especially for a dual Dokkan Fest where it's gonna be three plus one discounts, right? So definitely set it to multi summon and then put in how many multi summons you plan to do or you're able to do. So let's say, just for example, that you can do 20 multis, all right, which normally would cost a thousand stones for normal 50 you know, stone priced multis, right? But actually for the anniversary, we're getting that three plus one discount. So every fourth multi is gonna be free. So we can reduce that to 750 stones for 20 multis. But then since we're on global, we're also gonna be getting tickets as we do our paid multis. And if it's gonna be like last year, then we're most likely gonna be getting almost another full multi with tickets for every three paid multis. So you can further reduce that to about 600, 650 stones for 20 multis. So let's say, for example, you have you know 650, 700 stones, you can do 20 multis because of the tickets and discounts, and uh, you choose how many featured SSRs you're interested in. So let's say all you care about is the new LR, right? All you want is Gogeta or Vegito, then just put one and click what's my summon rate at the bottom click on that and it'll calculate for you exactly what your chances are of pulling at least one copy of the unit you're looking for. So in this case, with 20 multis on the upcoming Dual Dokkan Fest banners, your chances of pulling one copy of Gogeta or Vegito is 63.3%, which is not bad. It's not bad. I mean, for you know, 650, 700 stones, 63%, I'll take it, right? But at the same time, there's a 37-ish percent chance you're not gonna get one in that many stones. So let's say we bump it up to like, I don't know, 30 multis, right? Then it's up to 77.7% .7 better. We do 50 multis, it's up to 91%, almost 92% 
you do 80 multis, it's up to 98%, but there's still almost a 2% chance you're not gonna pull one. So basically in order to almost guarantee yourself a copy, you know, go over 99%, you would have to do around 100 multis to have a 99.335% chance. But then there's also that point, you know, 0.67% chance that you still don't pull a copy. All right, so I guess the point I'm trying to make in this video, and it's probably pretty obvious to a lot of you guys already, but nothing is guaranteed when it comes to Dokkan, when it comes to these gacha games, because at the end of the day, it depends are in RNG, right? Like these numbers are cool. It's nice to know, right? That like if you do 100 multis, you have a 99.335% chance of pulling at least one copy. But at the same time, when it comes to your actual summons, you could spend like 5,000 stones and still not pull a single copy. Just look at truth summons recently, all right? People have been bombarding me with questions and comments about what I think of truth's summons. And while they're very unfortunate and while you know, it is very unlikely that what happened to him actually happened just out of, you know, bad luck. It's always possible because it's RNG. And just like anything else in life, sometimes people can just get really, really unlucky, right? I mean, at the same time, you could get super, super lucky as well and pull both of them in their first multis, right? So like, there's going to be people out there who pull one or two copies of both LRs first time they summon on each banner, maybe first single, you never know, right? Like that's always possible because that's just how this stuff works. So what I'm trying to say is as far as answering the question at the beginning of this video, you know, is this many stones enough to pull a Gogeta or a Vegito or how many stones do I need to pull a copy of each? It really depends, right? I can't answer that question. It's impossible for me to answer that question. But uh, if you want to have a general idea, then go over to the summon calculator on the Dokkan Wiki. Once again, link in the description. Go check it out and put in your information and see what your likelihood of pulling a copy of Gogeta or Vegito actually is. But once again, just only use this as a reference, all right? Because things could totally play out differently when it comes to your actual real life summons. Like it says here, 100 multis gives you a 99.335% chance of pulling one Gogeta or one Vegito. But one multi summon only gives you a 4.889% chance. But there's still gonna be people that pull one or two or maybe even three copies of Gogeta or Vegito in their first multi. So you never know, man. RNG is a funny thing. So uh, I guess to close this video, I just wanna tell you guys to go into your summons for these upcoming banners with uh, controlled expectations. Obviously, try to be optimistic, right? Have fun with it. But don't go in expecting too much because you're going to set yourself up for potential major disappointment. That's always kind of been my philosophy with this game, you know, like always go in with lowered expectations so that if those low expectations are met, like, you know, bad things happen and you get shafted, then you're not surprised because you kind of expected that. But if your expectations are exceeded and you get really lucky, then you're super happy because you know, you were expecting nothing, right? But anyways, I hope that helps you guys out a little bit. Um, I know it wasn't like a concrete answer, like some of you guys might have wanted, like maybe some people clicked on this video expecting me to say, yo, if you spend a thousand stones, you will definitely get a Vegito or a Gogeta. And I wish I could do that. I do, but it's just impossible for me to say, you know? So uh, best of luck to everybody on your summons. I hope that everybody pulls exactly what they're looking for, whether it's Gogeta, or Vegito, or both, and may the RNG gods, RNG Jesus, Bandai Spies, all that stuff be with you when you do your summons, all right? So that's all I gotta say, guys. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something along the way. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, Hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.